items needed to match the solenoid. Everything's hot, let's do it. And after a few test fires and a bit of fine tuning, it works. Pull up these done. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's one third of a millisecond difference. Wow. That's freaking perfect. Let's go do this full scale. Okay. Which means rolling up the room 360 feet to stake out a drop zone. Right about there. That's where they were landing out in the shooting range, so this is where I expect them to land here. Okay. Adam lays down a runway of white paper so the high-speed camera will clearly see and measure both bullets at the same time, in the same place, and in the same shot. All we need now in the drop zone is Jamie's drop rig so the boys can take a shot at physics history. All right, dude, you ready to do this for real? I think we'll hit it on the first shot. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you never make predictions. That's awesome. Bullet drop versus fired. In three, two, one. But from 360 feet away, the boys can't see exactly where the fired bullet landed. Let's go see where it hit. So Adam takes a one-wheeled wide down the room to check out the drop zone. <laughs> wow. And the results are simply ripping. Can't get much closer than that. Ugh. I can't wait to see the high speed. So, dude, this bullet carved a streak right under the drop zone. I think this might be the shot we've been looking for. In real time, it's impossible to tell what happened until Adam analyzes the high speed and crunches the numbers. 3677 minus 3915 equals 238 divided by 6. <laughs> Dude, the difference is 39.6 milliseconds. Which means it's less than the human eye can make out. So after days of brain-teasing tests, the Mythbusters can claim a world first for themselves. And a victory for physics.